I'm here at the uh, Esri booth, and I'm here with, uh, what's your name? Ryan McBroom with Ryan Esri. Ryan McBroom. <laughs> nice to meet you. And We do geographic information systems, so we take a lot of the Oracle data here at Open World and spatially enable it in a mapping context to let you run some geographic queries and get some geographic context to your data. So what we're working with now is a program called Business Analyst Online, which is a subscription-based service. And we're just going to go through a quick little workflow here for a potential retailer. And we want to look at something like retail marketplace and get an idea of the total retail sales for food and drink uh, in the Boston market right now. So we're going to run a quick thematic map, which is going to give us an idea of where the hot spots are for uh, retail sales by food and drink. So we see over here the top block groups are these, uh, these top five over here. And if we look at them in a, a table, we kind of get a, an idea of the number uh, around there. So this top block group does uh, about 543 million in retail sales. So I'm just going to narrow this down a little further and change the color really quick. You see my blues are the hot spots. I'm going to edit the ranges a little bit so I can get a better idea of, of what this looks like and really get the, the best markets for us. So I see right here that the best market is this block group right here. So I'm just going to zoom in really quick and get an idea of what the area looks like. Looks like there's an interstate there, so that's always pretty good for, uh, for retail sales. I'm just going to clear my map really quick and then drop a potential site here. So if I was going to put a vending machine, for instance, this might want to be uh, where I would put it. So I'm going to quickly draw some rings around that location to establish sort of a, a trade area on where my uh, target market or where my, uh, where my base of customers might come from. And now that I've got my rings here, I'm going to run some quick reports. And I'm just going to go to the Get Reports tab, kind of pull in a demographic and income profile. Uh, let me clear these out really quick. Pull that demographic and income profile in and uh, run this report. So it's going to run in the background. I can go back over to my map if I choose to. I can zoom in, uh, get a better indication of it, maybe switch between the maps a little bit, uh, look at a hybrid map, for instance, and get an indication of how far it is from, uh, from some other major retail sites. So while I was running that, I had this report run in the background. I'm going to open it up really quick. And I have a demographic and income report here that shows uh, not only the, the current year, the 2010, but also a 2015 projection of what the demographics look like in that area. Uh, I also get it as a graphical format as well in these, uh, in these charts here. And uh, also in a pie chart, look at household income, populations by race, population by age. So there's about 5,000 different variables within this program that I can query on and, uh, and use it to research my market. So it's a great tool for, uh, for site selection and learning who, who your customers are in the market. Wow. Well, thanks a lot, Ryan. That's great.